Hey guys, welcome to Scriptly Adapted. I'm Kyode. I'm Kate. Welcome back. Guys, we got a great new show for you. Uh, we have now almost seen every movie nominated yeah. for an We've Oscar. We've done well. We've done well. We've done well. But today's film, we bring you Lion with Dave Patel, uh, and Nicole, Nicole Kidman. Kidman. Great cast. Rooney Mara. Great, I mean, it's, it's great, great, great cast. Um, I would say this was a movie that I was almost emotional with. I, I almost shed a tear. I mm. almost I almost wept a little, wept a little bit. Um, I, but I did it. I manned up and I, w I was watching the film and I was good. Really? Yeah, I was good. Because I think, if I remember correctly, that the last film that you cried in was this one. Yikes. Okay, so, uh, and I guess uh, I relationship fine. secrets uh, come on live television now. <laughs> um, that was... <laughs> That was a thing. I was small. I was a little mm. kid. No mm. one wanted the dog. I got a little <laughs> emotional. I cried a little bit. Poor so, Benji. I cried. I Benji, mean, he's a great dog. But anyway. He tugs at your heartstrings, you know? Anyway, enough about my, my, my crying. Kate, <laughs> tell us a little bit about, you know, which was a huge theme in this film, mm -hmm. uh, family. Yeah. Family structure. Um, give us something. What did you it think? Was, the theme of family was consistent throughout this film. Yes. From... Uh, Sheru being adopted by Nicole Kidman's character Sue mm. uh, in Australia to f trying to find himself uh, and find his biological family uh, back in India. It was just all across, it was across the board. It was very consistent across the board. Right. And the real theme in tandem with family is trying to find one's way in this world and trying to have a sense of belonging mm -hmm. and at the end of the film they update you which is one of my favorite parts about any film that's love based the on updates. true story love the updates um, but he actually had considered they considered him lost mm. for, t for the better I mean a quarter of a century I mean he was 25 right. 26 when he found you know really started this search and it was just so interesting to me that they characterized it or that way because we're all kind of lost right we mm -hmm. all want to try to find this sense of belonging and 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 try to find where we belong right. uh, in any type, in any situation. And he was trying to find his family, um, his brother, Gadu, his sister, Shakila, his mother, um, you know, who were left back in India. Um, he was lost at the age of five. Yes. Found his way to Calcutta, and then he eventually became adopted by this family in Australia. And, and in the film, you see uh, his, tr his, his adventure, his travels, um, from almost being abducted and a major thing that is huge in India right now is child abductions. Mm -hmm. Almost, I believe the stat was 80, 80 to 88,000 children a year uh, get abducted. And you get a scene of that in the film to see the realness of um, this, this epidemic. Right. Um, and it's real. Yes. And the, Saru, Saru <clears throat> was lucky to find, um, find his way out and, and escape that. Right. And it's interesting too, because I think they, the real and beautiful part theme of family is consistent, but then you also talk about um, the fake family and the fake sense of belonging because right. he's only five years old and he's yearning to find his family, but he almost gets sucked into becoming a pawn in this abduction scheme mm -hmm. and, and then being you know sold off into who knows what. And uh, eventually he does find his way into life right. and, and into family and into belonging. Um, we have a really cool clip that shows you uh, the theme of family throughout this film. Check it out. Check it out.
Well, guys, there you go. You had a, a clip um, similar to the, well, very similar to what we were talking about as far as uh, finding your way. Yeah, and also, as you see, it's interesting. He's trying to navigate his way through this home, this new home. But also, what really hit me about this clip was the score. Right. And I think um, it's always important to dissect technical aspects of film as well. Um, mm -hmm. It's what really makes the movie. But um, tell us a couple of things about the score in this film. Well, I... I, I'm, I consider myself a, a movie score aficionado. Um, I, I love to uh, sit back and watch a film and, and get to hear the emotional, uh, I guess the emotional um, um, feeling that the, the, the conductor or, or who's doing the score brings into the film. And I have to say, excellent score. Mm -hmm. Great piano, yes. very almost whimsical, meets, um, I guess, uh, adventurous, because you do get a little bit mm -hmm. of the film later on. Um, great, 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 great score to kind of match up the emotion. Oh, totally. Um, of it the was film hypnotizing. It was hypnotizing. And That's haunting. Great, and haunting. It was really, I mean, but haunting, not scary, not, you know, it was just kind of, it made your heart ache. Yes. And while we were preparing for this show, we were trying to get a clip, which you'll hear in a few seconds, um, about... Uh, the audio and we just had to you know sample it and we put it on and I was like okay and Cody's like no 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 leave it on and we just continued our prep work with the with the audio playing the score playing and it was just relaxing and mm -hmm. it's honestly beautiful yes. um, so yeah so, it was just well, I great. guess we gotta let's throw to it yeah Guys, I mean take a listen you gotta to hear this. it for yourself take a listen to the score yeah you gotta hear it <clears throat> Guys, there you go. There's a part of the score just yeah. right there. And that was the main theme, consistent with the film mm -hmm. throughout, mm -hmm. um, through Sheru's ups and downs, pretty much kind of downs with yeah. the film. I mean, it, a lot of downs. Yeah, because a lot of ups, but mostly downs. A lot of ups, uh, but yeah, a lot of downs. And it, it kind of gave you that. It was kind of one right. note, but just beautiful. Beautiful melody to kind of go with it. You know, just to kind of a uh, quick segue into our next topic, which is the cinematography of the film. Um, the way that he actually finds his village while he does Google Earth is he has this dream sequence throughout the film of him running through these sandy dunes or hills mm -hmm. while his mother, his mother was a laborer, which was very unheard of in India. Um, but she had to do that to support her family. And he had these dream sequences of running through these hilly rock areas to find her. And um, I just thought that the music matched those dream sequences the best out of the whole film. Yes. And to me, it was the most beautiful part of the film with the cinematography and how he found her um, you know, in his dreams. Yes. Um, and it just propelled him forward. And the cinematography was just beautiful. Tell us a little and, bit more about it. And also, you know, uh, piggybacking off the cinematography, you kind of also got the sense that, you know, Sheru would have these visions mm -hmm. of his uh, brother, Gadu, yeah. um, but from far away. Yeah. And I guess that was also to make you feel that he was far away, but not unreachable. Like, they, right. would, be, they, would, they would at some point... He would get to him, right, or at least to his family, yeah. and um, great way to cut, you know, great way to kind of capture that totally. emotion totally. because that was very strong in the film. And as, as as far as also the way he shot him walking across the railroads and the actual train scene of Sheru going into Calcutta, where he was pretty much lost for yeah. the majority of the time, it was just. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. And there was a scene, too, where he's standing. The film actually opens with him standing, surrounded by butterflies. Yes. And his brother standing on a rock, shouting to him, saying, Sheru, Sheru, you know. And that shows up. The... the the hallucination, the illusion of his brother shows up throughout the film mm -hmm. as he's trying to find his family. And yes. that's what you see. You see him standing there looking at him and... Um, it's just haunting, but the it kind of almost made me feel I was I was in a lazy river, mm. kind of just going with the character, seeing where it took me. It was very ethereal. It had kind of a whimsical look to it. Yes, very calm. It, um, it was just a beautiful piece of film. Now, guys, we are <laughs> heading into the I guess the final weeks of uh, award season. 
Yeah. We are in award season. We are in full effect. Um, we are getting ready for probably one of the most stacked yeah. uh, oh, it's amazing Oscars this year, this year yeah. as far as the quality of films and the quality of the acting. And this movie definitely deserves everything it's, everything it's getting. Yeah. Now, will it win? In my eyes, no. It won't win anything. But I tell you why. I wouldn't say it won't win I'll anything. I'll tell you why. It I won't win Best Actor. I think actor. the film picked up steam a little bit too late. Okay. I think everyone was hyped on your La La Land and your by the Manchesters, sea. even your Fences. Yeah. But I think this one caught steam uh, because of the great acting from Dev and also the little guy, Sonny Power, mm -hmm. who killed it. So cute, so lovable. You loved him. You wanted to, you wanted him to win. Mm -hmm. He had the heart of a lion. He was just great. Yeah. Great. What do you think? Yeah. What's, well, what's I your think thought? I totally agree with you. Just to touch on Sonny Power for a while. Um, so good. He actually, we were watching an interview, and he actually um, does not speak English. No. Um, he speaks, um, he's very. He's fluent in Hindu, mm -hmm. and so he had a translator with him, and he just totally embodied the role. He's actually eight years old in real life, playing a five-year-old boy. It looks it. But, it, I mean, it, it, he could pass yeah. for a five-year-old. Yeah. Um, definitely, I think the bond that was created between the two of them, as you right. see in this picture here, was just palpable. Yes. And um, he he really nailed it. And if you see, during the movie, you'll see younger pictures at the end of the real Sheru. And pictures of the younger Sheru actually were very, uh, very similar, similar to very similar. the actor. Um, now, you have a great, uh, I guess, definition or saying of uh, what a lion is. Yeah. Or, or what yeah. that could actually mean in reference to this film. Well, totally. You had something really interesting. It, it was, you know, <clears throat> at the end of the film, they update you, and the reason why they named it Lion, and I actually couldn't understand why either. I mean, I get it, but apparently through his whole life, before he really found himself and found his family, he was referring to himself as Saru. But his name actually was pronounced Sheru, which means lion. Mm -hmm. And a loved one of mine uh, used to tell me that you want to be the lion in life. You want to go out there. You want to keep your head up. You want to go for the gold. You know, you want to get your prize and really try to attain things. And I think that his goal was trying to find his family. And, and he was a lion was. in that yeah. sense. You know, yeah. he wasn't going to give up. Yep. He was a warrior. He was a fighter. Yes. He was strong. Yes. And I think that I loved just how, it was so brilliant to me because I loved how they took the meaning of lion uh, or what you think a lion symbolizes mm -hmm. and tied it in with what his name means. Yes. I think that, and because also he was lost and then he found himself and Sheru is who he is. And, and I loved that. You kind of almost uh, feel ashamed of yourself as an adult uh, looking at this kid who survives all this, but right. with such... Uh, strength and poise, and and mm -hmm. and and it kind of makes you think, like, man, could I could I have done what he did? Right. Could I have actually survived that and and been okay? He struggled though. And he struggled. He had struggles. It wasn't, you know, I'm I'm. But I don't think through. he thought of himself as a warrior at times. Right. You know, you see Dev Patel go through the physical transformation of, um, you know, his hair gets longer and kind of matted, and he's not as polished as he is in the beginning of the film mm -hmm. because he's struggling so much. You know, he even distances him, distances himself from his girlfriend, who's played by Rooney Mara. Yes, another fabulous performance. Yes, I mean, very she's good. good in everything she does. Um, Overall, I think the film was great. I give it a cliche double thumbs up. It was amazing. Go I, see uh, it. I give it the two thumbs up as well. Um, solid movie. Gotta yeah. go see it. Definitely. Well done all around. Almost made me almost made me tear like Benji. I did. was sobbing. Almost, mm -hmm. almost. But guys. <laughs> Uh, thank you for watching. Yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. Stay tuned. Keep checking our social media. We're updating you with our quickies coming. And also keep supporting the arts. See ya. Take care.